The party's over at Virgin Megastore. And that has customers singing the blues. The personal touch here and the interaction you get with people is priceless. And you can't, I mean, you can't get that from a computer. You know, you can listen to albums and everything, and the fact that's not going to be there, like, we have really nothing to do with. Customers say one of the things they're going to miss the most about Virgin Megastore is the vast selection. Everything from Annie Lennox to Jasmine to MIA. 20,000 titles to choose from. The other thing they're going to miss? The listening station. The flagship store in Times Square isn't alone. By midsummer, all of Virgin's U.S. locations will be closed. Experts say they're not surprised. CD sales are slumping, while the download business is up more than 20 percent. What I think we're seeing is CDs are done. I mean, the clock is running, and the CD as a, as a delivery system for music is over. Tower Records, gone. Circuit City, gone. Yeah. Virgin, you guys were the last men standing. Yeah, um, and you know, I have, would point out that we've, we're disappearing for different reasons. You know, those guys unfortunately went bankrupt. Um, our business is, uh, on a store basis, is thriving. Profitable, yes, but not profitable enough. The store's parent company says it can make more money renting the space to another business. I don't know where I'm going to go. <laughs> but for music lovers, shopping at a record store wasn't business. It was personal. That's where you would go to find out about concerts that were coming up. It's where you would go to maybe buy your band's uh, T-shirt. It's where you would go to get tickets. It's where you'd go to like kind of you know get made fun of by the record store clerk because you didn't know like the B side on this like you know import from Japan. Did the internet kill the record store? It didn't kill our stores directly, but it hasn't helped. Lola Oganaki, CNN, New York.